Hello everyone, my name is Mara, and today's case is about Christina Richard, who was 14 years old when she went missing from Ozark, Arkansas in 1999. And just a quick reminder before I get started, that I always try to do the best research and get the most accurate information I can for every single case that I cover. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's case. Christina Marshall Richard was born on February 2nd of 1985 in Dequeen, Arkansas. She lived in Fordyce in Idaho, Oklahoma during her childhood before having to move back to Arkansas. Christina was said to be a loving and devoted sister to her brothers, and that she stepped in to do the best she could to be a mom to them. She was described as being brave and full of courage. She loved the color pink and loved her Barbie dolls. And sadly, in 1993, one of her younger brothers passed away. And then three years later, in 1996, their dad passed away from cancer. Then in 1997, Christina and her two surviving brothers, Norman and Michael, went to live with their dad's brother because their mom was not able to take care of them. His name is Charles Walter Richard, and his wife's name is Later Wanda Later that Faye same Richard. year, one of Christina's younger brothers, Norman, was removed from the home by Arkansas Department of Human Services because it was alleged that Wanda had abused him. And in the same year, Christina disappeared. She was said to be last seen in the summer between the dates of July 27th and September 14th of 1999, but this was not reported at this time. Then in the spring of 2000, there was more accusations of abuse. So this is when the Arkansas Department of Human Services removed Michael from their home as well. It was once again alleged that Wanda had been abusive. This is also when questions came up about where Christina was. Even her brother Michael, who was taken in by another family who eventually adopted him, would ask where Christina was. And so his adoptive mom, whose name is Donna Walker, asked Wanda and Charles about Christina. They told her that she had went to live with a great aunt in Oklahoma. And then in July of 2001, Donna contacted Wanda again because she needed to get necessary paperwork so they could adopt Michael. And this time, Wanda told her that Christina had gone with a great aunt to California. It was also said that she called them several times after leaving and that she sounded happy. But that suddenly in April of 2000, the phone calls had just stopped. And years went by and Michael continued to ask about Christina. So this is when Donna began to search for her. And then in early 2005, she was able to file a missing child's report. This was six years after her disappearance. They also found out that they had continued to cash social security benefit checks that were supposed to be for Christina for eight months after she went missing. Then in early 2008, a woman named Joanne Holdman came forward with information. She told authorities that she lived with the Rich Arts in 1999 and that she knew Christina was deceased and she had witnessed what had happened. She said on this day, it started when Wanda and Christina were arguing. This is when Wanda told Christina that she needed a bath, and she forced her into the bathroom. Wanda then shut the door and began filling the bathtub. Joanne said she heard splashing and crying, and both Wanda and Christina shouting at each other for around 15 minutes. Then there was suddenly a loud thud, and Christina became completely silent. And then Wanda opened up the bathroom door. And Joanne seen Christina lying motionless in front of the bathtub. She was not breathing and she did not have a pulse. And there was what she described as a mushy spot on her head. At this time, Joanne was 18 years old and pregnant. And she said she waited so long to come forward with this information because Wanda would continuously threaten her and her unborn child. Joanne said that she ended up moving out of their house about a month after Christina's death. With all this new information, Charles was put on house arrest and Wanda was put in jail. Then in June of 2008, Charles pled guilty to conspiring to make false statements to the FBI and he confessed that he had buried Christina's body in the Ozark Forest. And in December of 2009, Wanda was found guilty of two federal charges including one count of conspiracy to make a false statement and sentenced to the maximum of 10 years in prison. The court also found that Wanda had physically and and she was ordered to participate in a sex offender treatment and not to have any contact with minors when she's released from prison. 
Christina and her poor brothers went through so much trauma in their lives. Between losing a sibling, her dad passing away, and then all of this abuse that they went through. And to this day, Christina's body has never been recovered. Foul play is suspected considering all the details of the case. And I always kind of want to hold out hope that maybe she could be out there, but it's more than likely that she really did pass away that day. But if you have any other details or any other theories about this case, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you'll comment and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.